hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for all you do for this channel we really appreciate we do not take you for granted yes my people as always as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in our country our country nigeria um this uh, uh the the talks of division biafra and odudua the major setback um that they are experiencing is actually uh, um, disunity, not united. A shocking one I just dropped before our decks, where Indigos are pushing for Atiku's presidency. Really, let presidency go back to the north again. Recycled politicians. What is going on? What are they getting from all of them? Um, these are um, politicians that is making them to mortgage their future. It's so unbelievable and it's very shameful. This is um, it's it's a shame. It's such a shame. How many uh, northerners will actually support um, southerners, southeast, or any other part? How many have we seen? So I really don't understand why all these guys are uh, they are taking this position. And at the end of the day, they will be the ones lamenting that the country is not working, is not functioning. Atiku Abubakar is our choice for presidency, uh, and uh, that is final. This one is coming from Indigo in Anambra State. Very shocking. Well, we'll bring you all of those details shortly, guys. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Press the notification bell as well, guys. Hit the bell until it turns gray. By so doing, you get updates as soon as we upload. God bless you. The Atiku Support Organization in Anambra State, chaired by Honorable Comrade Wilson Ekwereku, has proceeded with the grassroots mobilization strategy towards ensuring accomplishment in the 2023 presidential election. The proposed strategy reaffirmed the Anambra state choice of His Excellency Alaji Atiku Abubakar for presidency in 2023. Over the weekend, the organization assembled political elites of men and women across the 21 local government areas of the state in a familiarization meeting. The submitted elites were local government coordinators, nominees, local government women leaders, PDP chieftains, and youth leaders. According to the release of the organization by its state publicity secretary, Fidelis Onakboma, said, the meeting was conducted to examine nominees' credibility in carrying out their responsibility in their various local governments. The importance of the exercise was to engage local government leaders in a roundtable discussion for the expression of their opinion and exchange of ideas needed to pilot the affairs and the delivery of the mandate of the organization. Ikwereku asserted that owing to the magnitude of responsibility hinged on us for grassroots mobilization in ensuring victory comes 2023, there is the need to access coordinators' credibility, political opinion, and readiness to voluntarily support Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Hmm. So surprising. The local government hopefuls are expected to be politically aware of sound mind and with proven integrity. This medium will guide the organization in appointing the right people for the job, he hinted. The familiarization meeting ended with the recognition of different nominees and the exchange of contacts. Women leaders were urged to give holistic interventions and be sensitive to the needs of women because they are the major strength in electoral victory. While expressing readiness, the local government hopefuls and women leaders reiterated that their choice for Atiku Abubakar is non-negotiable. What a shame. Non-negotiable and you guys will be the one, uh, the same people um, crying um, that uh, things are hard. Things are hard. Why would presidency go back to the north again and not recycle politicians? This is not what um, the country needs. It's such a shame. So it, definitely, this um, set of indigos, they are not in support of Biafra. It's very obvious. It's not like they are even calling for an Igbo presidency. They are, they are stating that Atiku Abubakar is non-negotiable. Well, Nigerians are reacting. Uh, uh, they've reacted they, with shock, amazement, <laughs> with all sorts. Someone says that these are the same people calling the Yoruba people Fulani slaves. Is Atiku not a Fulani man? Confused race. Another one. Tomorrow they will be shouting marginalization. Where... Whereas you are the ones marginalizing yourself. It is very correct because tomorrow when uh, uh, they've uh, 
It won't happen. Let me not say Atiku Abubakar. When Atiku Abubakar becomes president, it will not happen. Not in this country. God will not allow it. God will show this country mercy because presidency can't go back to the north. But uh, when things start getting hard, it will be the first set of people to start crying that uh, what is going on, you know. Another one says, uh, Igbos are just looking forward to where to eat and nothing more. That is why international community call them noisemakers. Buhari is Fulani and Atiku is Fulani. But you Igbos, Atiku is clean and holy. Igbos have not come out to tell the whole world what they need. This person feels that um, it's just... Uh, because of bread. It's not like they really want to support Atiku, but it's such a shame. It's like mortgaging. It's just like the story of uh, Esau and uh, and Jacob. Because of a pot of porridge, you sell your birthright. That is what is going on. That's the scenario that is playing out here. And it's very sad. Very, very sad. People are really gathering that um, Atiku's presidency is non-negotiable. Because of what? What were you giving? Porridge? Yam? What were you giving? Another one says, can this be true? If it is true, the Igbos have a very long way to go. Why can't they pursue and fight for one thing consistently? From the way they are conducting themselves, the Igbo presidency in Nigeria is a mirage. Not even Igbo presidency alone. What about um, even the agitation for Biafra? You know, so what about that? And even if they believe, um, if they are the ones who believe in one Nigeria, why supporting Atiku? Why Atiku Abubakar? What um, what are his track record? How has he changed things in the past? We know the kind of uh, reservations Nigerians have got for Atiku Abubakar, and some people are here carrying flag uh, uh, for him, raising, uh, singing praises for him. That is non-negotiable. So painful. Another one says, when you lose again, you begin to tell you as Biafrans and Jews. Now on herself, on her, they deceive for Igbo land. <laughs> this uh, person feels that. Uh, they are just uh, disgracing their own self, not uh, the egos. It's just their self. But 2023 presidency is a serious matter. Whoever emerges, the person is going to be going for four years or eight years, as the case may be. And uh, if it's not the right person, it means another long period of suffering again. Is that what we want? Is that what we're praying for? We're asking for good governance. Atiku Abubakar is the one that will give good governance. Is another Fulani man. Another Fulani man. We know what Fulani headsmen have been doing to the whole country. What has he done? What role has he played to actually stop the attack of Fulani headsmen on, uh, on, uh, on indigents of um, different um, states? And they are there raising flag for him. It's shameful anyway. But well, my people, let's hear your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.